Hi, my name is Çetin Başuz. I am Angelica's senior developer for Accutrack. In this video series, I want to show you how to uh, install SQL for the first time. Okay, let's start. Uh, first, you should know that AcuSQL is a product of Angelica and Microsoft SQL Server is a product of Microsoft. In AcuSQL, we use the SQL Server as a data storage backend. For this reason, we, you need to install both the SQL Server and AcuSQL. The installation order, however, doesn't matter. But since we need the data storage anyway in AcuSQL, it's a good idea to install the SQL Server first. If you uh, have uh, SQL Server on your site already, you don't need to follow all these installation steps. Even if you are an IT person, I suggest you to watch anyway because there might be some troubleshooting tips in this video series. Now, assuming that you don't have an SQL Server yet, I will show you how to download and install the free edition of it. SQL Server free edition is called Express Edition and we support any version from 2000 up and any edition uh, except the compact edition. The editions uh, might be Express, the free version or any one of the standard work group enterprise and so on. Okay. Uh, I have created some steps as a plan here. The first step is to download SQL Server Express from www.microsoft.com uh, Express database. When you go to that address, you will see that uh, SQL Server latest version, uh, Express version, uh, is already there for you to download. And the latest version uh, as of today is 2008 R2. Depending on your operating system, choose 32 or 64 bit to download and get the free express version. I have already uh, done the uh, downloading uh, part of this step and in my downs folder I have a series of files ready to be installed. Here I have uh, one of them. This this one is the 2005 uh, Express Editions download, and I have also 2008 uh, installation uh, file. I will install both of them. Uh, I'm going to do that like that because uh, we support 2005, as I said before, and there are slight differences in the installation. Uh, of 2005 and 8. So I'm going to do install both of them. You can do that, by the way. Okay. Let's start with 2005 installation. Run. And it is going to create some setup files. I accept the licensing terms. Click next. is installing the SQL native client and some setup support files. I always forget clicking install there, by the way. Uh, it waits for you to click install. So you click next. Next here. Okay, it, it made a system configuration check. And here it says 12 success out of 13 here and one warning. When we check the warning it is about ASP.NET version registration requirement. That's something that we don't need and it's a warning so we can click next. Here you can change the name if you want to. Okay. 
click next defaults are good we are going and here instead of leaving that in windows authentication mode we would select mix mode when you use mix mode you can use user and password as well we are going to do this like uh, how am I doing uh, in mix mode because we also want to connect from another computer okay and uh, while connected we would use username and password the default uh, name here is SA system uh, it means system administrator administrator for SQL server never leave password empty okay next here uh, this is optional I am leaving it in its default next next and install and it starts the installation while it is installing let me talk about the other steps currently we are doing this step install sequas express using default uh, by the way uh, the SQL express version installs with a name sequel express okay uh, in the next after that one completes, as a next step, we would also install SQL Express 2008, and there we would name it SQL Express 2008. Okay, they can exist side by side, and uh, after doing that, leaving. Uh, them at their default we would uh, install a okay. it is completed we click next and finish okay we have done this one now uh, let's go and install 2008 also it's a little different as you will see first creates uh, something that is called PowerShell here it is and there are a lot of options here uh, we are starting with uh, installation tab and new installation or add features to an existing installation we are not going to upgrade uh, from 2005 we want that version to stay as is okay accept the license terms and click next it is installing setup support files okay now here uh, the defaults are good all selected so I click next in the next steps it uh, asks for a, a named instance name uh, it does that because we already have a named instance of 2005 named SQL Express and uh, as we the did here uh, in the steps we would name this SQL Express 2008 okay we gave the name next
Next. Okay. Here, as we did in 2005 Express version, we again select Mix Mode and give a password. Uh, before clicking next, if there isn't, uh, there is no user selected here. Uh, be sure to add current user. Okay, next. And it is now uh, installing the files. This step would take several minutes, so I am going to, uh, to pause here. Okay, so our installation is completed successfully. So we close this one. And we close this one. So we completed step one and two installing uh, SQL Express. Uh, in step three, we, would, we are going to install AquaSQL. And step four, in step four, we would install AquaSQL on any other computer and connect to this SQL Server Express data. Uh, for the moment, we are leaving SQL uh, Server installation as is without doing any change yet. Okay, see you in the next video.